time. <laughs> I'm so happy to see you again, friends. How about you? Are you happy as well? <laughs> I'm also excited because today is another awesome day to be productive. So let's go and get our art stuff for another art time. Art time. <laughs> Speaking of being happy, we are going to draw something about emotions. An emotion is what we feel. We have different emotions or feelings. We can feel happy, sad, angry, or sometimes surprised. We have different emotions for different experiences. When I experience something that brings me joy, like being with you, I feel happy. How about you? Can you show me your happy face? All right! <laughs> and there are so many things that we can be happy about. Like spending time with our family and doing fun activities like painting, drawing, or storytelling. So today, we will draw different emotions. Are your drawing materials ready? All right. Before we start, like what we always do, cover our working area with an old newspaper or an old plastic cover so that it won't get messy. And Mama would not get mad at us. Now that our working area is ready, let's begin. For today's activity, we will be using an activity worksheet from Net25Kids that my sister and I downloaded. My Ate helped me print the worksheet, so go ask Ate, Kuya, Mommy, or Daddy to help you too. We also need any drawing and coloring materials you have at home. Okay! Let's begin! Look at this worksheet. We can see that there are four different drawings. Hmm, let's read the instructions together, friends. Okay, there are four blank faces. We are going to draw the faces. This is how I look like when I am happy, sad, angry, and surprised. We will draw four different emotions. Happy, sad, angry, and surprised. <laughs> Do you have an artwork you would like to share? Take a picture together with your artwork and send it to the Facebook page of Net25Kids. Don't forget to like and share our social media accounts. Our Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, Instagram, and YouTube channel. Just look for Net25Kids! All or nothing na ang magiging labanan sa tagisan ng galing. Dahil ang top 30 ay sasalain na para mabuo ang top 15 semi-finalist. Tutukan niya this weekend sa pinakamalawak na talent competition on Philippine TV and online. Ito ang Tagisan ng Galing.
Gisan Nanggaling is presented by SMC Infrastructure, Building a Better World. Sandig Sugar-Free White Coffee, puno ng white coffee taste without the sugar, kaya lower calories. Try mo na! Sandig Sugar-Free White Coffee, sarap ng white coffee, now sugar-free. Vet Approved Nutrichas, the only premium dog food with active boost for optimum energy and prebiotics that help strengthen immunity. Just like Catherine Bernardo, going listo, ganado ang fur babies niyo. Listo ganado sa Nutrichas. Magnolia Chicken Templados, delicious, ready to cook and freshly marinated daily. Pure Foods Lunch and Meat, pure sarap for every family. Star Chunky Cheese Corned Beef, ang cheesy ng corned beef mo. Walang duda, kids can tell na number one ang Pure Foods Tender. Ang juicy, ang tender, ang juicy, ang sarap. Co-presented by Cooper, expert in air conditioning and electromechanical. Also engaged in structural, electrical, fire protection, plumbing, and sanitary services. Cooper, your ultimate MEPS and air conditioning solutions. Ulan Incorporated International, fight against global poverty. New San Jose Builders Incorporated. Canrib Corporation, your ventilation and air conditioning specialist. Vita Herbs Philippines Green Coffee, masarap, mabango, at healthy pa. Puerto Rico Resort and Convention Center, Cabiao Nueva Ecija. I love Puerto Rico. In participation with Rain or Shine Elastomeric Waterproofing Paint, Matimco. R Square Variables Incorporated, Compizel Enterprises, SciShow International Trading Corporation, DN Steel, EMAC UPB Roof Corporation. East-West Bank, your dream, our focus. Star Tollway is a 41.9-kilometer highway that stretches out from Santo Tomas, Batangas, all the way to Batangas City. An important component of the company's portfolio, the Naia Expressway project is a 5.4-kilometer elevated expressway that connects the Skyway system to Naia Airport terminals and the entertainment city. SMC Infrastructure's ventures also include other projects aside from the tall road business. Listo at ganado ang baby ko sa vet approved nutri -chunks. With active boost and prebiotics na pampalisto. Made with real meat. With essential nutrients to help them grow healthy and happy. Listo, ganado sa nutri -chunks. Hey, Aggression Ho here. And I'm a white coffee lover. Creamy kasi and very yummy. Pero mas masarap kung hindi nakaka-guilty. Check my new discovery, Sanmay Sugar-Free White Coffee. Puno ng white coffee taste without the sugar, kaya lower calories. Try mo na! Sanmay Sugar-Free White Coffee. Sarap ng white coffee, now sugar-free. Ikaw lang ang star ng buhay ko. Para sa akin, perfect ka. Ang cheesy ng corned beef mo. Pag Star Chunky Cheese Corned Beef, sarap ng corned beef, inangat pa ng real cheese cubes. Star Chunky Cheese Corned Beef. Before we draw, how about let's practice naming the different parts of the face first. We have two eyes, a nose, and a mouth. Did you know that we can use different lines to show the different emotions on our face? We can use a straight line like this. This straight line is horizontal or sometimes we call it a sleeping line. This straight line is vertical or a standing line. We can also use a slanting line like this. It can slant to the right or slant to the left. Lastly, we can also use a curved line. Oh, we will also use a circle shape when drawing the different emotions. Alright, the instruction said, we should draw what our face looks like when we are happy, sad, angry, or surprised. Let's begin! For the first emotion, we should draw a happy face. Hmm, 
How does a happy face look like? Right! When we are happy, we smile like this. <laughs> you can look at the mirror to help you draw your expression. I'll use my black pen to draw the face. Let's draw the eyes first. Let's use circles for the eyes. How many eyes do we have? Right, we have two eyes. One, two. Add some eyebrows too. Next is the nose. You can also use a circle for the nose. Then our mouth. I'll draw a big smile to show how happy I am. We will use a curved line pointing up to show a big smile. And done! Good job, friends! What's the next emotion? Sad. Being sad is something we feel when we are not happy. Sometimes, when you haven't seen your friends for a long time, you'll feel sad like this. Oh, but don't worry friends, I'm not really sad. I'm just showing you what a sad face looks like. <laughs> Alright, let's draw the sad face. Put the eyes and nose like what we did earlier. Let's use a curved line for the mouth, but the curved line should be pointing down. Aw, don't worry. Cheer up, drawing! <laughs> Remember friends, when we are sad, we can tell our ate, kuya, mommy, and daddy. I'm sure they can help you feel better. DIY Make a Face Toy This is a great tool for teaching emotions to children and a good way for kids to tell what emotions they are feeling. Things you will need Markers Pencil Eraser and Ruler Scissors, vellum board or any cardboard, different colors of construction paper, glue, puncher, circle objects, small, and big. 
round paper fastener. Let's start! We will be making a face, so let's start with the base. Get your A3 sized vellum board and your big circle object. Trace the big circle object to the vellum board. Carefully cut out the circle. Erase the extra pencil marks. And set it aside for later. Now, we'll make the other parts of the face. Let's begin with the eyes. Use the leftover paper from the cutout circle a while ago and let's draw two eyes. You can make it into any shape and any style that you want. Carefully cut it. Fill in the colors Now let's make the eyebrows. Get any colored paper that you want. Use the pencil and draw the eyebrows. Make two sets. What's next? Let's make the nose. Use any shape that you want for the nose. Hmm, what's missing? Oh, the mouth! Get your medium-sized circle object and trace it over the colored paper. Cut the circle out, then fold it. Cut it in half and there! We have a mouth. Then. Let's cut out two small circles for the cheeks. Now we have completed the parts of the face. Let us now build our DIY Make a Face toy. Get your puncher, craft knife, and round paper fastener. A safety reminder, use each tool with caution and if you are a child, have adult supervision.
there, we are finished. Let's test it out. What does a happy face look like? What does a sad face look like? How about angry? What does a surprised face look like? And there we have it, our very own DIY Make a Face toy. Landmarks, Linggo, alas 6 hanggang alas 7 ng gabi. Now let's draw the next emotion. Angry. Oh no! When we are angry, we make a face like this. Hmm. We feel angry when someone did something that doesn't make us feel good. Let's draw an angry face. Draw the eyes and nose again using circles. Draw two slanting lines meeting on one end to show the angry face. One line is slanting to the left and the other to the right. For the mouth, use the slanting lines as well. Make the lines meet like making a zigzag line. There! Grr! That's an angry face! And the last emotion that we are going to draw is feeling surprised. When we are surprised, we make a very funny face like this. When we are experiencing something unexpected like having a surprise party. Yay! Our eyes and mouth are wide open. So let's draw! We will still use circles for the eyes, but let's make them bigger. Draw the nose, then let's draw the mouth. Let's use another circle for the surprise mouth. And done! Clean the lines a little and then let's color the four faces that we drew.
finish. That was fun. <laughs> How about you, friends? Did you also have fun? I hope you all enjoyed the activity. Don't forget to send me a picture of your artworks, friends. Oh, speaking of artworks, here are some of our friends who sent us their artworks. You can also do this together with your family. Yay! That's it for today. Join me again next time for another Art Time. Bye!